हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एस एस वी मैथ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूनिट नंबर टू वेक्टर इंटीग्रेशन इन यूनिट नंबर वन वी ऑलरेडी लर्न वेक्टर डिफरेंशिएशन इन वेक्टर डिफरेंशिएशन इफ आर बार इज गी वन फ्रॉम आर बार हाउ वी फाइंड वेलासिटी वेक्टर एक्सेलरेशन वेक्टर एंड देन टेंजेंट वेक्टर देन इन यूनिट नंबर वन ऑल्सो ग्रेडियंट इज डन Uh, with the help of gradient, we already learn how to find directional derivative. Then divergence and curl. Divergence means uh, suppose f bar is vector field given, eh? so how we find divergence of f bar that is del dot f bar. Then curl of f bar is already covered that is del cross f bar, and gradient of scalar point function phi means that is del phi. And in divergence and curl, most important topic is done that is vector identity. So in this unit, our syllabus contents are. first one is line integral line integral means that is the integration along a curve c in single integration that's curve c may be closed curve or open curve okay so then uh, with the help of line integral we have to find work done and using work done we have to decide that vector field is conservative vector field or not so in uh, unit number 1 we already we already learn when f bar is solenoidal so yes anybody remember this when f bar is solenoidal i think if f bar is vector field given and when we say that f bar is solenoidal if del dot f bar equal to 0 means if we get del dot f bar equal to 0 then we can say that f bar is solenoidal when f bar is irrotational if del cross f bar equal to 0 so same here third thing is given a conservative vector field so we will see in uh, unit when f bar is conservative then after line integral we have to cover surface and volume integral surface with the help of surface integral and volume integral we have to solve the problems on double a. surface integral means simply double integration volume integral means triple integration and with the help of this we have to solve the problems on green's theorem stokes theorem and gauss divergence theorem so these are the contents of syllabus next one is what is the objective of this unit to recall the basics of integration means for solving the problems on work done green's theorem stokes theorem integration is required so first one is to recall the basics of integration then to understand the concepts of double and triple integration to apply double and triple integration for solving problems on stokes and divergence theorem also we can use double integration in green's theorem to verify green's theorem stokes theorem and divergence theorem on any vector field after objective what is the outcome of this unit means after learning this unit learner will be able to understand the concept of double and triple integration and apply it to solve the problems on green's stokes and divergence theorem then learner will be able to memorize the formula for integration in cylindrical and spherical coordinates also learner justify the conservative vector field after learning this unit learner will be able to understand the concept of integrals of functions and vector fields over parameterized surfaces and compute them in simple examples also learner will be recognize the statements of stokes theorem and gauss divergence theorem and understand how they are generalizations of the fundamental theorem of calculus now these are the outcomes of this unit out after outcome why we learn vector integration what is the use of vector integration in engineering why these contents are given in syllabus why we learn green's theorem why we learn stokes theorem why we learn gauss divergence theorem so there are some applications of these theorems in engineering given eh? so we will see some applications so first one is in terms of circulation green's theorem convert the line integral to a double integral of the microscopic circulation then water turbines and cyclone may be a examples of stokes and green's theorem then 
next one is green's theorem also used for calculating mass or area and momenta using green's theorem we can prove kepler's law also green's theorem is used to measure the energy of steady currents and we know that electrodynamics is entirely based on the green's theorem we all know solid liquids and gases can all flow so how to calculate rate of flow for calculating the rate of flow through a surface is often made simpler by using the divergence theorem so these are the some applications of gauss divergence theorem green's theorem and stokes theorem in engineering now in next video we will start actual our syllabus that is first one is line integral and with the help of line integral how we find work done and from that work done when we say that f bar is conservative means how we decide f bar is conservative so we will take in next video okay thank you